tutorial for you how to use this IPv6 proxy generator script and I will explain all the features of the script okay uh, first of all you have to note down uh, your few things like uh, your public IPv4 for the server and the active interface name and the IPv6 uh, subnet info okay just note it down okay uh, I have already uh, logged into the test Linux server and also transfer the proxy script here and uh, first we need to make it executable by this command sh mod plus x then the script name proxy and hit enter okay now we can run the script by dot slash then proxy and hit enter okay uh, as you can see that uh, it automatically detect the uh, active interface ns5 we can match here ns5 if it fails to um, match the active interface name then you have to manually put the interface name okay hit enter now it will ask for the ipv4 address public ipv4 address for the server okay just copy and paste hit enter now it will ask for the IPv6 network address. Okay, I'm assuming that uh, this is a, we have a slash 64 uh, IPv6 subnet and we have to generate proxy from here. So this is a test subnet. So this is the network address for this subnet. Okay, just copy it and paste and hit enter. Now it will ask for the IPv6 CID annotation and we have slash 64. So just put says slash 64, hit enter. Now it will ask for how many proxy do, do you want to create? Okay, so we can generate like uh, thousands of thousand proxy. And for this test, uh, I will just create around, uh, let's say 2000 proxy. Okay. So actually there is a limit of creating, a, I mean generating proxy that is uh, around 65,000 and something but I put the limit to 64,000 because of system system port limit so as you know that we have a system port limit uh, to around 65,000 and something so we can generate up to like 64,000 but uh, in a single system uh, I prefer to generate maximum 30k proxy not not more than 30k it's just my prefer okay for this test i'm generating 2000 proxy and hit enter so now it will start the installation and this installation will take some time because uh, we need to um, create squid extended port limit so uh, it will take some times and it will uh, manually compile the proxy and then install so i'm going to pause the video and i'll resume once it's finished it can take around 30 minutes or more depends on the system so i'll resume the video once uh, installation has been finished okay here you go uh, you can see that uh, installation has been done and you will get a message something like this congratulations ipv6 proxy has been installed successfully so let's let me show you one more thing can see there is a, another file ip.sh file has been created by by default during installation so just do not touch this file okay uh, this is the file of all of your ipv6 ips for the interface so just do not touch it okay let's run the skip one more time to get those options okay now i'm going to explain all the features okay so first uh let's check our available proxy and option is five so check five so you can see we have created 2000 proxy and total available proxy is 2000 we have generated 2000 ipv6 proxy so let's add a user okay let's say test one two three and remember for the username uh, make sure you will use only small letters and numbers 
no capital letters no special characters for for the username hit enter now it will ask for the validity expiry so let's say 10 days for the validity and the password for the password you can use anything like uh, capital letters small letters special characters numbers etc whatever you like for the password you can use anything hit enter you can see successfully added test one to three well now now let's assign some proxy to the user option two so it will ask for the username username is test one to three hit enter now it will display the available proxy we have we have 2000 proxy available so we can assign let's say 200 proxy to this user you see successfully assigned to 100 proxy to test 1 to 3 so now let's export this proxy but before we export let's check option 6 with three users and expire date okay you can see test 1 to 3 and expire is uh, January 26 and if I show you my today's date of the system as it's 16 January so plus 10 is 26th of January okay okay let's export user proxy it's option 9 and our username is test 1 2 3 hit enter now you can see your proxy info is available at this location so it's slash root then export then the file okay so let's check download location you can see we have a folder export so let's get into this folder you can see we have a file let's open it sorry okay we can see here is our public ip then the port then the username and the password so just you can see that different different port and each port is bind with different different ipv6 when we connect with this port and username and password then it will give us a uh, different different ipv6 for each port okay okay let's go back to our script okay i have already showed number one number two i know we can delete the user but i will uh, show you later okay so yes we can uh, show you the delete user proxy so let's check option three test one two three you can delete some proxy from the user so we can see we have total 200 proxy for the user so let's say we, we will delete to 100 from it okay okay you can see 100 proxy has been removed from list one to three now check our available proxy option five you can see now it's 1900 okay now option four is delete user okay i will show it later mm, option five I, I have already showed you show available proxy option six i also showed you and option seven is modify users expiry date so we can actually extend the user expiry date so previous expiry was 26th of january let's modify it test one two three you can see it's it's displaying the users expiry 26 let's increase another four days okay now check the expiry option six you can see it's now 30 of january okay it works perfectly okay now option eight option eight actually uh, similar as option nine option nine is actually export uh, the ex uh, user's proxy in a file and option eight we can display uh, in front of the screen okay so let's check it out option eight test one two three you can see all the proxies here okay now we can check 
option 10 and 11 is just simple uh, we can shut down the squid with option 10 and we can start again with option 11 so I'm skipping these two you can check by yourself okay option 12 is add blacklist so let's uh, block some domain so it will ask for the domain name so make sure you will input only the domain not the url okay just the domain so let's say we will block google.com type just type just google.com it will block google.com hit enter so it will take some time because it needs to reload the squid system okay it's done you can see domain has been blacklisted so let's check it out with option 13 show blacklist you can see google.com is in blacklist so now we can uh, remove the blacklist as well with option 14 okay google.com now we are removing the blacklist okay it's so quick you can see domain google.com is now quite listed let's check our blacklist again 13 option and see no domain here so now check our available proxy now once more time option 5 you can see 1900 so let's delete the user and see what happened it's option 4 okay 4 you can see that uh, it lists down the username so we have only one user so it's test 1 to 3 test 1 to 3 hit enter Deleting user and it's done. So now check our available proxy again. Option 5. You can see it's 2000 again. So that's it. Uh, this script can be modified according to your needs, and you can contact me for any kind of information. And to purchase the script, you can just contact me here. Okay, we have Discord and email. Okay, thank you.